Hello again everyone. This month the fellas came round and we did a recording session and got some of the soundtrack nailed down. I'm still currently mixing and mastering the tracks and there are a few things that need to be re-recorded but it's coming along real good. Um, here, have a bit of a listen. Music in video games is one of those things that I think a lot of developers either don't think too much about or don't want to de dedicate too much time or budget to. But it can make a huge impact on the game. Um, music and sound design in general is a fantastic tool that can really help uh, reinforce a game's themes, the feel and uh, add emotional impact to situations. I've also mostly completed tiles for the graveyard and church level. This particular level is in the first third or so of the game. It leads on to the catacombs afterwards, which I was making quite a few months ago now. The tiles for this level were quite a bit of work as the level is essentially two levels back to back and they are rather distinct from each other. Initially you have the countryside with the church visible in the background and then leading into the graveyard you see less trees, rocks and bushes and moving the tombstones and the like. Then you make your way up to the church and that is largely comprised of interior brickwork, wooden doors, stained glass windows and on and on and on. The church interior still needs more background and foreground objects and a lot of the visual effects aren't in place yet. I'm hoping to have some intermittent rain on this level, but I'm, I'm happy with the progress so far. It's always good to get another level blocked out. One thing you can see in the church level at this point that is finished is uh, some of the lighting effects that are going to be present throughout all the different levels in the game. This is just a small mock-up that I've done up, but uh, this is a, in an interior area that when you move through this area it's um, lower light, so you can see the light pulling in from the doors and then there is a lower light level present in this room and that affects the background and foreground objects and also the characters and that sort of thing. Uh, so this will be something that um, you'll see throughout various levels of the game. So the design of the church itself is actually based off of two different churches that are both located in my local area. When I first started work on the church and I was trying to figure out exactly what I want, I did my go-to thing which is start trawling around the web and looking for inspiration, I couldn't really find anything that I actually liked and I wanted to go with. I found a lot of big massive gothic cathedrals and a bunch of other stuff that I didn't want and it took me a while to come to the realisation that the design I did want is located a couple of streets away. So the church that you see in game is not really a carbon copy of either of these churches but it's more that I've taken elements of both, I've mashed them together and there we are, one church. I'm really happy with how the church turned out actually, it was quite a pain in the ass, I must admit. Due to the way that I wanted to present the church as you progress through the level, the church basically appears in the background and it gets bigger and bigger as you get closer. Due to the nature of pixel art and the way that sort of works, you can't really just take uh, an asset and scale it down or scale it up. It doesn't work like that with pixel art. Um, I mean, you can do it, but it generally looks pretty awful. So basically what I had to do was scale it down and then essentially start redrawing it again and make a separate sprite for uh, each level of church. So it actually took quite a while to get it done. So now that I've got a good bunch of levels in game, focus shifts over to enemies, NPCs and interactivity within these levels. Future months we'll see a bunch more animations and rotoscoping taking place. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to starting work on some of the game's bosses. At this point I'm planning at least one boss per level. 
and I've got some great ideas for exactly what I want for each boss, so hopefully time will allow me to get them all in the game for release. And now I do want to say a real big thanks to everyone who is following along with the development of Bannerman. It really does fill me with confidence to see the views going up as each video comes out, and seeing more people uh, following along and engaging on Twitter each week that goes by is fantastic. So again, thank you very much. On that note, I'm going to leave you guys for this month. I'm actually going to get back to it and finish up the rest of the church level. And then I'm going to go off and film a couple of pieces that I'll need for rotoscoping for next month. So, alright guys, catch you next time.